Damn. <laughs> that was cute. Uh, what was I gonna say? You got me all distracted now. <laughs> I don't Sorry. even know my own intro. <laughs> my name is Jacqueline. This is Liz. Hi. Obviously, this is in my jungle. It's her car. We just drove all the way to Worcester, Massachusetts, and we are at the plant ward because one of you beautiful people recommended that I come here. So, mm -hmm. here, here we, we are. are. I don't remember your name, but thank you. Okay, let's go see what they have because it's right. kind of getting toasty in here. Yeah. yeah. I like their, uh, they have some cute stuff. Oh, here we are, the plant ward. I don't know if they're gonna have music. Hi. They might have pumice. I told you it was cute. Oh so we are here at the plant ward and we're checking out all their plants, you guys. They have so many rare plants. I'm losing my mind. I don't even know where to start. So I'm sorry if I skip over stuff, but they've got some really gorgeous anthuriums. The Telenorium, I'm not good with anthuriums, but 60 bucks, she's really cute. I do have this one, and she grows really easy for me. The Radicans, Times Luxurians, oh, my flash is on, hold on, let me turn my flash off. Okay, that's better. This I showed you already, Anthurium Cobra, and then, I don't know what this one is, but it's cute. Podophyllum. Not mad about it. This one is my favorite. Look at that new leaf. This is the Anthurium Silver Blush. This one is 185, which is a pretty decent price, I think. I don't know, I imported mine. So but I love the silver leaves, obviously. I have mine potted up in the same pot as my Clarinervium or Crystallinum. Honestly, I don't, I don't know which one I have. Clarinervium, I think, maybe, but I like the silver. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the Anthurium Vitarifolium for 85. I don't know if I have this one. I have one that looks like it that wasn't labeled from a nursery, and I feel like this is what it is, but I really don't know. Either way, it's gorgeous. It constantly has bugs on it, but it's gorgeous. Some jade satins for 24. Cute little syndapsis babies. This is the um, Trubii Moonlight. Little baby cutting. Some splash. Curious how much these are. 25, okay, that's basically how much they are in my shop right now. 28, I think, I just lowered the price to 28. So, there is that, this painted lady is stunning. Stunning and really nice and full. Looking gorgeous, I had a hard time rooting mine, but now she is finally taking off. She's nice and established and happy. 45 for that one. I'd say that's a pretty good deal for this size to be able to pick it up in person and not have it shipped, because mine was really not happy about being shipped. Either of them, I had two separate plants sent to me. Philodendron, pen, I don't know what that says, <laughs> 42. It's cute. I thought it was a Raphidophora for a second, but it is not. I think this is the Syngonium Panda. Panda Galaxy, yeah, 85, that's not a bad price for that either, to be able to get it in person. Not have to worry about shipping. Look at the variegation on there, you guys, it's so pretty. I'm not a huge Syngonium person, but when they look like this, I can't help myself. I just am a sucker for some good variegation. They're just very thirsty, so I have to either keep them in the greenhouse or keep them where I can see them at all times. Uh, this is the Milk Confetti. I don't know what the price is on that one. Just trying to be careful here. And then we've got the gorgeous Syngonium um, Aurea, I believe. Yeah, for 95. Look at that. Stunning. I feel like this is like the new elbow. Everybody wants 
this one now since the elbow is like super common this is the three kings for 75 i feel like that's a pretty good price on that too this one is gorgeous look at it love the variegation on these super cute and they have a lot they have a lot of inventory and it all looks really healthy so 35 for some monstera elbow not monstera wishful thinking right <laughs> syngonium elbow this is the erythrophyllum that i showed you guys that you really liked it has the burgundy undersides 16.50 it's a really good price if i didn't have one i would definitely get one what is this syngonium gray ghost so cute it's gonna take me forever to go through all these so mojito wait this looks like the one that i have yeah pink flecked i thought it was green flecked but apparently it's syngonium pink flecked i got this one at home depot or something because i thought it looked different and it is it is different so i see some pink splash back here too if you guys can see the pink splash for 75 this leaf right there is looking gorgeous if i can get it out here from under the light look at it beautiful and then we've got some silta pecana for 20 bucks up here good price they're actually looking really nice too 20 dollars for this ansonii looks like we have some florida greens up here for 75 and then this is the Adabat Poencia, I want to say. Looks like mine. Just better. Yeah, 65. Mine's like not super happy. I think it needs to be repotted. But I love these leaves. Some Monstera Peru for 37. Not a bad price on that for one that's actively growing. And then it's like cousin or sister plant it looks like the panati partita looks the same just bigger leaves in case you're ever wondering these will get fenestrated a lot easier so there is that and then this imedrium spider-man spider-man i'd name this phil phil spider-man <laughs> If you get the reference, leave a comment below. And then this, you guys, look at it. This is the Monstera Ansoni I mint. It looks like the one from, I don't know, Indonesia, maybe? There's two different ones. One comes from Indonesia, the other comes from Japan, I think. I don't remember, don't quote me. 98, I have the one from Indonesia. It's finally putting out some new leaves that are looking gorgeous it's finally acclimated to my environment but you guys look at this do you see this you see this right now i've never seen one in person 245 honestly not even a bad price for this look look at it look at that leaf look at that leaf gotta give you better lighting look at it Okay, there's that. You got more regular Monstera Perus, some Raphidophora decursiva, Stanzilianas for 75. Um, these are just the elbow ones. And then you've got your allocations over here. So you've got some, I don't know what that one is actually. Let's look at the name. Dragon Scale, okay. Look darker than my Dragon Scale. This is what my dragon scale looks like. Mm. Also labeled as dragon scale, so I don't know. These leaves look darker to me. And then this is the Melano. Really cute little baby silver dragons for 25. Or how much this one is. I had a corn, but I don't know if it's gonna make it. 25? Oh, it's Rugosa. I thought it was a Melano. I don't know, you guys. Clearly, I'm not. And, uh, alocasia expert here Ooh, this one's cool though what you're cool looking alocasia heterophylla i 
feel like that has another name. It's like the dragon's breath one that I like. Or tooth, I don't know, dragon something. And then this one, Corazon for 40. Uh, was there another name? No, just four inch. That one's really cool looking. They're both really cool looking. Then there's some black velvets hiding back here. Shouldn't be more than 20 bucks yet. Yeah, 20 bucks, right on the money. Um, yeah, that looks about it. And then you've got some philodendron Campo Sport Tuanum. Cam I don't know. We just say Campo. 45. Cute. Love. When these come in, they're kind of like got this red blush to them. Some Pariso Verde hiding back here. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff. Okay. Those are 100. Some Philodendron Lupinum. 30 bucks. Had some of these in my shop recently. They sold out pretty quick. And this thing, look at this thing. Is that not awesome? This is something Mirabilis. I forget how you say it. 85. Super cute. This is another philodendron. Jerry something. I don't know. I'm not good with philodendrons that much. I do know that this is that new one though. I forget what they said it was crossed with. A Gloriosum and another Congo hybrid. I don't know what the other parent is, but 45. Super cute. I think they grow up and don't crawl, it looks like. But I'm not exactly sure because you guys know I don't like crawling philodendrons. Philodendron Billy Tie for 110. Super cute. Obsessed. This one's on my wish list. I just bought one though, so we'll be seeing it soon. Plamanii for 35. It's a good price on that one. Super cute, but they do crawl, so I think I have a cutting, but that's about it. Somebody gave it to me. Another cute billy tie, some cute ring of fires for 110. Variegation on these looks really nice. Then we have Epipremnum panatum elbow for 70 hanging out up here. Very cute. This one grows like crazy. Definitely gonna want to give it a pull and let it get really big. I don't even want to pick this up, you guys. Look at it. It's stunning. It's the Florida Beauty. $3.95. Obviously, I want one. Maybe one day when I can afford one or find one like a cutting. For a good price this is the variegated amplissimum aureum i think aurea i don't know what they're calling it 112. i bought a reverted cutting and then the next leaf that came out had some variegation on it so i got lucky on that one i've been on the amplissimum train for a while so i'm glad to see them um coming out more frequently i have had the silver one for a while still an engine red queen for 100 I don't know who you are but you're cute and obviously we have this gorgeous monstera up here and these Esqueletos Esqueleto 165 not a bad price at all for that to be able to get it in person and not import it twice like me and have it come dead all right over here we've got some cute hanging plants some Wayetii here Cebu blue this Hoya is gorgeous, the Shepardii. I don't know how much this one is. 70. Latifolia, Macrophylla, whatever you want to call it. Hanging out over here. 60 bucks. Some more Alocasias hiding back there, really big. Pubicalis. You're good, did you find anything good? Some Ripsalis. This is such a cute little setup right here with the pumpkins. What do they have a bunch of? Oh, okay. Oh, they've got the chunky perlite. 
Um, there's a Hoya Linearis hanging out over here for 41. That's a good price for that. I kill those, so like these trellises are cute though. I like this one. I have more trellises than I know what to do with. Oh, and they have these cute repotting mats. Mine is so ugly <laughs> from Amazon. These are so cute. I'm supposed to be photographing them all because they're handmade. I love bugs, obviously. I have them tattooed all over me. Right? Cute. They have a lot of really cute stuff. Some air plants. And then let's check out what's in the middle here. We've got some hanging baskets. This Hoya Hushkalion is 75. This is the yellow flowers. So cute. We've got some pearls and jade. The that what do they call this? String of nickels. Zero sisica. Sisios. Zero. I don't know. There's some piper. Really cute well, piper. Nice. Some variegated hearts for 35. It's not a bad price either. So cute. We've got more Hoya Linearis, more Syndapsis Splash. This Curtisii basket is adorable for 40 bucks. I'll see you guys take it easy, thank you. And then you've got this Syndapsis Trubii. It's like the dark form for 112. That's not a bad price for this really long Vining plant. More Hoya over here. You've got some jade and then another pothos. This Lacanosa is gorgeous. I know these have been popping up in the big box stores, but this one is so much more silvery than the ones I've been seeing. 67. And it's a thousand times healthier, so highly recommend getting it from a shop or a nursery if you can over the big box stores, obviously. Cute little silver stripe hanging out over here. 37. Very cute, nice little hanging basket of that. Some Ruby Cascade, I feel like I haven't seen Ruby Cascade in a while. 22. The Piper. Yeah. I know, I just, I know that I would kill it, is the thing. I can't do thirsty plants unless they can like survive in my bedroom. <laughs> Lots of pothos hanging out over here. Some pink princess. 78 on that. You've got a little white princess for 50 bucks. A bigger white princess for 75. She's cute, not a ton of variegation. She does have a little pup though. There's another babe back there. Little global green. Lots and lots and lots of pothos. Mikens. Ooh, these are so cute. 18, oh, I might have to get one of these. This one's cute, right? Why will you not focus? Ugh. That's better. I had you all zoomed out. And these are cute. Are these the variegated vanilla? Yes, I'm gonna need one of those. For sure. For sure. I'm also gonna need one of these. Little jewel orchids. Look at them, so cute. So cute, right? Is that the cutest vanilla orchid? You guys have been wanting just like a regular one, but why would I not get a variegated one? Little baby philodendrons, some spider plants. Yes, it's only 20 bucks. Girl, you need one. I didn't even see it there. I almost bought one for so much more. Cause at first glance, when I saw it online, I thought it was a Tradescantia and I was like, uh-uh, no, 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 don't want you. Like, it's gorgeous. I had one of these, but I, for the life of me, couldn't keep her looking pretty. So, like, we just don't do that anymore. 
17. They're epiphytic. So it can, you can train it to mm -hmm. like a bird something. It will prefer it, yeah. Oh, Rattlesnake calatheas. Oh, you guys know I love my calatheas, except for, oh, shut up, my Zabrina absolutely infested with spider mites the other day, I noticed. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Thankfully, everything else around it was fine, but I was like, how did that even happen? It felt like overnight. There aren't even any spider mites in, like, the regular living space. They're all in the greenhouse. A little variegated strawberry begonia. Oh, here's the uh, Bre Breveramosa 26. Mine is out of control and needs to be cut. Like, she's just like out of control. I love a good begonia, they just don't always love me back. Oh, this is a peperomia. Everybody keeps telling me to get the elongata. And I'm like, you guys, I'm a peperomia killer. But they insist that this one is really pretty and that it's easier to take care of. Just not a huge peperomia person. Like this caparata can just, yeah, no, we're not doing that. These two lipstick plants, or goldfish plants rather, I had both of these Mine is blooming like and crazy right now. they both died. So I don't know why they don't like me. I treat them the same as my Hoyas. I had mine outside all summer oh, and it's blooming. It's a little like baby. Now. Some, um, these are the only bromeliads that don't freak me out because they're kind of cool looking. <laughs> they just, I just really don't like them. These cacti look like they're pure evil as well. There's some cute little variegated hearts for only 16 bucks. That's a good deal. So cute. Love a little very, these are my favorite too, the sedum donkey tail or whatever it's called some more little oh i used to have one of these and it was variegated but it's a peperomia so it didn't live very long variegated peace lily supposed to have one of these coming in the mail too hopefully it comes alive this is the domino though i don't know if that's different to be honest with you this is one i saw in the big box store that i was surprised but it to see but it was dead so I don't even know how to say that. Apoballus acum... Tissima acum... Acumen... <laughs> That's fine. I'll just feel dumb later. That's fine. There's just too many syllables, okay? Too many syllables. And then there's the Hoya. Those are really cute. Um, Hoya lacanosa, croniana, rather. For only twelve dollars and fifty cents, that's a good price. Some cute little Wayetti eyes. This little Australis Lisa for ten bucks. I paid like thirty dollars for a little cutting when they were like still hard to find. Cute little Shepardi eyes. Some little caudatas for twelve fifty. That's such a good price. Little macrophylla over here is definitely. She's, she's looking like she's on the struggle bus. Um, let's see. Lacanosa, do not fall over. <laughs> Lacanosa, this says royal flesh, but it looks like the dark leaves. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's under the light. Ooh, that one's really pretty. Look at the variegation on that one. Gorgeous. 37. This is the Acuminata. Albo marginata, um, 50 bucks. It's also labeled as verticalata. I go with acuta because I have another one that's verticalata and it's just very confusing. Yes, yeah, see, it also says Hoya acuta. Um, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hoya quin, can, I can never say that one, but these leaves get really big and cute and sun stressed. There's another one of these. Oh my gosh, look at the peduncle on it. It's such a big boy. That boy has bloomed a lot of times. Oh, 71. Nice. Yeah, this is the Incrustata. Moonshadow. Yeah, there's like Eclipse and I don't know which one is which. But I have both, so. Oh, here's the little Dis Diskidia, Dishidia. Dish 
watermelon. Yeah, mine's finally growing. It started basically that small though. Can you please just sit up? I'm trying to help you. Uh, tangled Hoya tendrils are like the story of my life. Seriously, because I just like, I need you to, this is why I put them all into heavy pots because they fall over. All right, you're gonna be fine. This is the regular parasitica. I don't think I have that one. For 60 bucks. <sighs> trying to take care of the Hoyas that I have. There's mealybugs everywhere. 89 for this Hoya Elliptica. That's not a bad price on that one at all. Those are terrible, terrible shippers. So if you can get one in person, highly recommend. And then here's your favorite, everybody, the Hoya Sarawak, the one you're always begging me to cut, and I won't do it. 89 for this one. But I bought a second one, and um, one of them I'll cut eventually, I swear. <laughs> I swears it. Um, I think I skipped over this little ovovada for 51. High variegation on that one, super cute. You guys know this is one of my favorites too. 67 for the Hushkaliana variegata. And then the Hoya caudata for 54, also not a bad price to be able to get this in person. They don't love being shipped either. I think this is another Parasitica. Yeah, it's really cute. I don't have that one. Uh, Linnea, I have this, I think, Hoya Rigida. Yeah, somebody sent me a cutting of that one. I think it was Jill from Geronimo <laughs> growing. This is the Eskimo Super Silver, whatever you wanna call it, for 65. Here's the black leaves for 80. These hate being shipped, hate it. So it's a cute little sunrise for 65. And then this looks like my Breviolata, but it says P Palumba 49. I don't really know, but it's cute. I like it. I love my Breviolata. I think it's super underrated. Oh shoot. Don't knock stuff over with your butt, Jackie. Orchids. That's what I was trying to say. My brain is like fried. I'm like on plant overload. Oh, cute. I have this one in a big size. 12 bucks. I definitely need more pods. Oh my God, these are so cute. Very, very cute. Well, these are the ones I've been wanting to get too. Big bloom for my Hoyas. These pots are really cute too. Oh, I like this one. It's only 10 bucks. I don't love gold, but... Oh, this is cute. This would look good in the living room. 12.50, yeah, we're gonna get one of those. These are adorable. I'm just weird about having plants on my pots because I have plants in my pots. I feel like it's too much. <laughs> that's like when I see artwork that's really pretty, but it's plants. I'm like, but do I need to put pictures of plants on the wall? I feel like I should get something else, you know? Here's the Clara Nervium for 85. This is the one I have, not the Crystallinum. I don't know. Can't keep up. Another cute little billy tie, or however you're supposed to say it. This one is gorgeous. Mine grows so straggly, it really, really pisses me off, but you know, I love Epipremnum, so I keep buying them all anyway. I'm like, oh, new variety? Yep, gonna need it. 130 for this inner, vari inner variegated carry eye. I've been talking too much, I can't talk anymore. Just don't flop over on me, please. I beg of you, thank you very much. Um, I think that's it over here. This Monstera is like absolutely stunning. One day. One day I'll have you. This Painted Lady is really cute too. I think this Philodendron is super underrated to be honest with you. Um, there's a few more hiding over here, but same stuff we've been seeing. Oh, it's the clearance section. I like clearance plants. What are you? Black leaves? 
Sequoia Mirabilis. Oh, I have that one. Mine is super sun stressed. What are you? White Knight, super cute. I have a baby one that hopefully will get itself together and get variegated. I don't know what you are either. I'm gonna have to look when I have both hands and I won't knock anything over. That staghorn fern is gorgeous. Sorry. <laughs> What's down here? Another little white knight. Super cute, these look like they're from Emma's. Like I'm not gonna assume, but they look like they're Emma's containers and I know that they've been growing those out. This is really pretty. See, that's nice and subtle. I feel like I could do that. These are cute. I have this one, but you guys know our, our living space. We have a lot of blues. So I feel like this would be really cute for the shelves behind me, right? Not supposed to buy anything. These are cool. Self-watering pots that aren't ugly. Very cute. And they have all the good soil. Definitely not a bad place to stop. This is cute too. I just don't like, don't know if I like that color. Look, they even have some Captain Jacks, you guys. Since everybody seems to have thrips this year. These are cute. I knock everything over with my butt. I knocked off a big leaf off my philodendron in the greenhouse with my butt. I was like, you gotta be kidding me, right? Good thing it was just my squammy and that thing is like, grows like a beast. I don't know what to even do with it. Cute. Yeah, that's a that's a big one. I didn't see that one. Where'd that come from? Sneaky. So sneaky. Yeah, those variegated CCs are gorgeous. <laughs> Curious about that. Oh my god, the variegation is so good on this one. Yeah, mine's a little baby two leaf top cutting. So cute. Two seventy four. I haven't seen, I've only ever seen this once in a shop in Brooklyn. And that's it. And then the Monstera, uh, that's the Aurea, right? Yes. Yeah, mine throwing out just, it's just a tendril. And I'm like, you want to put leaves out? That'd be cool. <laughs> Gorgeous. I actually prefer this one over the elbow. I, I love I it. I think these always, the Aureas have a lot more color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elbows. My elbow. I got like one leaf recently that was super variegated and then you think the rest are gonna come out like that? No. no. <laughs> nope, not at all, no. Oh, I can actually see the name of this up close now. I still don't know how to say it, but that's I, I, fine. I say it, Cerestic Mervalis. Sure. That's kind of how I go. Cerestic? I don't know. I always say Mirabilis, but who the heck knows? Yeah. People yell at me all the time for saying things incorrectly. Yeah. And nobody speaks true lines. So. Right, right. Okay, fam, so the plant board was quite possibly the cutest place I've ever been in, was it not? Adorable. 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 And not only was the shop adorable, but the people who own it are adorable too. So Kayla and Matt, thank you so much for being so sweet and accommodating. Like we really appreciate you. Adorable, cute, little married couple running this yeah, store. Like so you guys cute. need to go and check them out. And if you do, don't forget to mention that I sent you. If you mention Jacqueline's Jungle, they are letting you guys get 10% off everything in the shop. So like if you are in the area, we're in Connecticut, we drove an hour to get there. Like there's definitely lots of stuff going on up here that if you're a plant person, it is worth taking the day trip. Definitely recommend it. Super cute, so definitely don't forget to mention my name and you will get 10% off. You guys are really sweet and we appreciate you. And now I'm blinded, so <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna go to the next spot. Look, he's doing a little extra, look, look, look. Bring <laughs> film him, film him. I don't know what's happening. Is he putting on a show? He's got a whole like, or is he just chilling? He's got a whole chair going on over there. Welcome to Worcester. <laughs> this church is gorgeous though. That's what I was actually trying to film. Right? He's 
got a whole driveway. But he wants to be in the street, obviously, Liz. He's practicing his moves. <laughs> like the only time I've ever been to Worcester was I went to, I used to go to the Palladium all the time for concerts. So like, I I don't think we're even in Worcester anymore. I don't know where we are. We're on our way to Mil Millbury to go to, I don't know if it's, I think it's T-A-J because there's dots in between. T-A-J yes. tropicals and something or other. But I don't know where we are right now. <laughs> I just like don't know what I just saw. So, I don't know. Welcome to Massachusetts. Yes. Providence and Worcester Railroad. Okay, so maybe we're in Providence. I don't know. I like the look of all these old buildings and stuff. It's a though. pink bridge. <laughs> it's a pink it's bridge. It's so cute. <laughs> Are we going to Rhode Island? What the you fuck's would. going on? Oh, maybe it's just towards it. We're not going. We're not going to Rhode Island. Nobody wants to go to Rhode Island. It is really cute. We're in Millbury, I think. Very cute. This little sweet shop is cute. Yeah, this little clock is cute. Millbury. Okay, so you can see Taj, T-A-J. Not Taj, but I want to say Taj. Look at how cute it is. Handmade gifts. Yeah, I think this was the one that had like crystals and it was definitely like my vibe. Like, like some witchy vibes. I mean, look at the the way it's painted. Right? Hi! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute! Yes, it. No, but it's adorable. I don't even know where to start. But this little room in here is adorable. Sorry, I'm just creeping on you in here, but you look really cute sitting on the couch, <laughs> if that counts for anything. <laughs> look at how cute this is. Oh my God, I would hang out in here all day. This is adorable. And there's a table of Hoyas. Like what more could you want? It looks like the same assortment um, from the last place that we were at. 12 bucks. It's a good price for these. Very, very cute. Okay. Oh, and this big variegated compacta. Girl, I don't know how much you are. 112. So cute. Mine are so hard to propagate and look. It has a peduncle. Very, very cute. Yes, this variegated. Come back to us. She says there's lots of Hoyas. So go nuts, girl. Let me know if there's anything good. 32 for this Sissus discolor. I don't know what to do with myself. I'll get overwhelmed. Here's an Obovada hanging basket. This ladder setup is what I want David to do for me in the bedroom. That's Awesome. Because he's putting up shelves, but the shelves only go up so high because I don't want them to be too high because then you can't see the plants anyway. So I was like, the ceilings are so high that I want to hang a couple above where the shelves are going to be. Yeah. You know what I mean. Um, this philodendron is huge and gorgeous. And like throwing out what looks like variegation down here. Super cute. I can't handle this. This is like what I want my living room to look like. Anyway. Can we just move in here? Can, yes, can we move in here? This um, variegated heart leaf is adorable. Mine is finally growing and I'm not mad about it. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to keep it happy because sometimes I struggle with the heart leaf. They are um, thirsty. I don't know what this one is. I know this is the silver stripe and that's one of the other ones. Oh my gosh, these shirts are adorable. Stop it. That's so cute. Might have to get one of those. Um, you guys, I don't know what to do with myself. It's a cute little fish tank. That Mikan's is stunning and massive. So is this Marble Queen. You know that's one of my favorites. So does T-A-J stand for something? 
Oh, that's really cute. Yeah. Really, well, really cute. That's adorable. I'm not mad about it because this is like one of the cutest shops I've ever seen. Cute little air plants, all these crystals and stuff. These are really cool. Can never have too many of those. I actually like the way this looks too. That's pretty cool. Maybe I wouldn't murder an air plant if it was in something pretty like that. This is fantastic too. Love these decorations. Cute little lithops, 22. I tend to kill those too, but you know, it's fine. Little zebra plant down there. Got some hanging baskets of siltipicana. Looking nice and healthy for 27. Very cute. I have like some little baby cuttings left of mine and that's about it. I had to regrow it from a cup of nodes. I think I've shown you guys my cup of nodes before. Some turtles. Some philodendron brandy. If you like want to give yourself a headache for $27. <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful, but I don't know how to I don't know how to keep you happy. I've had like three, and one lasted a while, but not as long as I would have liked it to. Another silver stripe. This one has really nice variegation. A lot of the times I see them literally only have one little stripe down the middle, so it's nice to see that. And here's all of the crystals that I don't need, but I'll probably buy anyway. These look really cute too, little oils. These are really cute. Might need one of those, I like the purple. That one's cool, I think I might get that one. Oh, these are cool too. I don't have one like this. Geode. Amethyst geode. That one's really cute too. Came here for plants and I'm gonna end up buying a bunch of crystals and stones. Cute. So cute. These are beautiful necklaces too. Guys, this place is adorable. Look at this leaf. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. Some begonias over here. This piper, 60 bucks. It's on a pole for you already, which is nice. Some common stuff. I know you guys like the common stuff, but <laughs> you know, we want to see what's over here. Where there are some Hoyas. So we've got a Hoya Compacta Variegata for 35. That's not a bad price for that, actually. I have one coming, but that's a good price for that size. That one's cute. Ugh, I don't need another one, but it's cute. Some regular macrophylla or latifolia variegated. Cute little linearis for 25. This is a really big pot of it as well. And then a Birkin. I don't know. Philodendrons. Looks like the uh, jungle boogie, maybe. Here's the Peperomia again that I'm I'm not gonna buy it, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not gonna do it. 37 on that one. It is cute though. Like the leaves kind of have a bit of an anthurium vibe to it that I'm not mad about. So I get why you like it. Some cute little calatheas down here. Pinstripe guy. Oh, here's some boobs. 
<laughs> I think this is a little bro marks. Yeah, 22. She's cute. I don't need her, but she's cute. Oh, here's some variegated agave. 25. These aglionemas are cute too. I don't love their foliage, but these ones look really nice and healthy. Like, I just don't love the color. 25 on this one. But I love a good aglionema. Be a good, like, Christmas plant. Some syngoniums, a little vanilla plant for 22. The mimosa sensitive plant. <laughs> cute, there's a lot of really cute pots too. I like this one. Might have to snag a couple. Raphidophora decursiva hanging out over here. Oh, there's a little baby one. That's cute for 12 bucks. Not mad about that. I like these pots. Begonia. What else? There's some alocasias over here. These black velvets are looking really nice for 15. That's a good price on it really cute the bambino 20 bucks I think mine is still alive I don't know it's really cute pots in here though this one's cute too alakisha maharani it's a big boy for 25 um, and then I think silver dragon this one's really cute it's a cute one for 35. Super silvery. Not mad about it. I think I like this pot for my shelves. And then just some common stuff over here. This um, Standiliana elbow has some nice coloring to it. For 75. 27 for this um, one that I never know the name of, Hamalamina Purple Sword, apparently, is what it's called. But it's really cute. I like the silvery variegation on it, but I don't need it right now. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, this is cute. I have a t-shirt that says this. <laughs> very, very cute. Sam's homemade. Okay. Cute stuff. Really cute stuff. I like this. Obviously. I like bugs and stuff. Not hard to figure out. Really cute. Tempted to get one of those, but I don't need it. Some cacti over here. Just variegated Opuntia for 40 bucks. She's cute. Some cute little terrarium plants. I like to peek through here because you never know what you're gonna find. Usually a lot of syngoniums and peperomias, but I found like little variegated peperomias in here before, which were super cute. Succulents, and then this is just like a really adorable setup right here. Can we appreciate this for a second? So there's that. This is a peperomia. Cute little Hoya pubicalyx. <laughs> I love you more than plants, and I really love my plants. That's cute. Some little cards. I love that you love me in spite of my plants. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. I'd rather be with my plants, but you're a close second. 
adorable. I'm rooting for you. Very cute. Some little pins. Peperomia. Oh my goodness. A little pink princess pin. Stop it. You just get me. That is so cute. Are these those things for your phone? Yeah, phone grips. Very cute. Little keychains. These are really cute. Wit and whistle. These are so cute. Trying to see if they have like a Hoya one, maybe. <laughs> Plant lady, that's cute. Introverted but willing to discuss plants. Pretty much, pretty much, yep. <laughs> you grow, girl. That's cute. Stay colorful. Little pins. Oh my goodness. I'm a sucker for stuff like this. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yes. <laughs> Very cute. Plant mom. Oh, and I just actually got this in the mail that I'm supposed to be trying and reviewing for you guys. I haven't tried it yet, but I have it. So that's a thing. Some Jade Syndapsis for 21. Good, nice and cute. Trailing, the leaves look good. Mine tend to unfurl pretty stupid. Some little Calathea. I feel like we covered most everything. This Monstera is gorgeous. Some little carry eyes. Very cute. Oh, there's some plants over here I lied. Oh, there's more Hoyas over here. Darn it, and are these socks? What are these? Um, Hoya Vitalina. Oh no. Oh no. I don't need Hoyas. Vitalinoides. I have this one. You guys love this one. I love it too. This is the black margin. For 50 bucks, that's a good price for this full pot. You've got some nice splashy leaves in there. Love when that gets splashy. Super cute. The Hoya Elliptica for 45. It's a good deal for this size to be able to get it in person. Like I said, not a great shipper. 65 for the Incrosada. Super cute. This one's a really fast grower for me. Like super fast. Love that one. And um, this one's really cute. I can't afford to pay $90 for it right now, but if I could, I would get it because it's really cute. Um, I don't know what these are. Oh, scrunchies maybe, or like headbands. But they're really cute too. Some earrings. These are the Philodendron 69686 for 75 I've been debating getting one, but I heard they were kind of a pain in the butt, so I don't know if I want to do that. This looks like one of those variegated, um, expensive ones. Little fillo, fiddle fillo bottom cut rooted. Uh, I don't know. Looks variegated, but only these, or maybe they're just damaged. Good way to tell is by looking at it from underneath. Mm. I don't know. Looks like variegation. Yeah, it's variegated. It's really cute. 50 bucks. I don't really know what it is. Lime fiddle. Lime it's really cute. I like you. 
super cute. This is the Syngonium Pink Splash for 95. Love the color of these leaves. I take it out from under the grow light so you can see the true color. Super cute. Some anthuriums over here. You got yourself an anthurium clarinervium for 75. A couple of them. Silver sword for 26. And you've got one of these Syngonium Erythro Phylum for 15. Batik, Batik for 45 back here. Cute little Syngonium. Did you see the Hoyas that were over here? The Vitalina is cute. 110 for this pink princess. She has really, really beautiful genetics on her. It kind of looks like mine, to be honest with you. So that's a good price. I'm just gonna put her down here temporarily so we can get back here. This painted lady is 50. Super cute. And then I see, I spy. A strawberry shake. Oh my goodness, 650, you guys. Do you see this uh, major wish list plant? I feel like you can't appreciate it because it's under this grow light, but it's just such a gorgeous, like muted pink variegation, which I really prefer over like a really bright pink variegation that you'll get on calatheas and stuff like that so oh, wow ring of fire for 120 you guys so many cute plants and then 75 for this variegated panatum so cute let's put this princess back yeah, this one looks exactly like mine, honestly. I feel like mine had that exact leaf on it when I bought it. So, really great genetics on that one. Some high pink variegation. Not mad about it. All right, I probably left stuff out, but we're gonna wander around and look at all these cute little propagation containers. What's going on? Weren't you looking for a baby? Little. Yeah, I got one. You found one? Yeah, oh, I'm really? murdering it slowly, just as I thought I would. <laughs> Thankfully, it was a gift. Here are the stickers. <gasps> uh, I bought one of these stickers once, and I was so mad at myself for not buying another one. So I'm going to buy another one. Hoya Hoarder. That's my favorite. I bought one in Brooklyn. Oh, one. This one's cute, too. Oh, this is my Hoya favorite Hoarder? one. Yeah, and it's like a little... Where is it? Here, take this one. Oh, thank you. Right here. Or did you want more than one? No, no, one's good. I like this one too. She's a plant lady. Oh, yeah, cute. I need more stickers for my water bottles. Me too. I heart plants. That one's cute. Oh, I missed that one too. Yeah. <laughs> I miss plant crazy. Banana. The future is bright. I like this little greenhouse, but it's too I big. I got it. <laughs> I need little ones. What's this one? Grow through what you go through. That's cute too. I don't think it'll fit. Yeah. Bloom, soil, leaves, sun, grow. Small stickers are $2. Regular stickers are $4. BRB overthinking. Yep, gonna need one of those. We got enough stickers. This one's cute though. Yes. I know, right? I was just thinking the same thing because I was so mad at myself because I don't want to stick it on anything now. Right. My favorite stickers, I won't stick on anything. I have, I always get two. I get them in twos. So yeah, that's it. Look at how cute this little sign is too. Sorry, I have plants this weekend. Yes, they're so cute. I can't stand it. Yes, so would I. So would I. Here's a little variegated snake plant. Oh, these rubies are gorgeous. I have been looking for a new one. 40 bucks for this lower variegated um, whale fin. She's really cute. I like the green on green. Mine has like creamier 
white variegation so I don't know if it's a different kind or if they just present different I don't know but here's the stickers I'm getting you guys want to see really quick while we're here <laughs> I should get one of those for David too BRB overthinking cute 70 bucks is not bad for this is very high variegation <laughs> cute Everything in here is too cute for me to handle. <laughs> I know, me too. I want one. Hi. I have two blue ones that are not albino. My goodness, look at I love the way they just float there. They look so stupid. <laughs> this is a cute little space. These are adorable. Oh my god, stop it. How much is that? I want it. Oh, my teeth. This one has teeth. Wait, this one have teeth. It does. Oh, it does. Okay. Other side. Oh, vampire teeth. So depending on how he's feeling. Dave would love that. We love little like monster mm. things. So cute. Unless they have vegan pizza. <laughs> I could do like salad pizza. I did. And I do salad like. Pizza. It's pizza with salad on it. I've never heard of something like that. You've never heard of salad pizza? No. That's weird. No? Yeah. This is really common. In what world? In this one. <laughs> oh. I've never heard of a salad pizza. You've never had salad and pizza? So it's just pizza crust with a salad on and it. And sauce. Sauce on a salad? Well, it's the pizza with the sauce and then the yeah, salad. You don't have somewhere. to put the sauce, but like you can do whatever you want. Oh, I thought there was a dot on my nose, but it's a freckle. Um, salad, but you get a salad pizza at a pizzeria. Like at a, any pizza. I've never seen it like on a menu. <laughs> anyway, oh. that's the curb. <laughs> we're at, a, I think it, we're in when it pees Worcester day, again. Liz, <clears> hit a curb. Worcester. We came to, it's called Time, mm -hmm, time. Apothecary, yes. because the girl that we just were at the last shop with recommended this spot and Liz wanted to check she it out. She also so. said that she has some of her plants set up here. Oh, okay. That's why she interesting. pushed it. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. So might as well just give you a quick little update too. We yeah. were just at T-A-J Tropicals and something Milbury. or other. Yes, it was in Millbury, and the owner was really sweet. Her name was Tiana. Thanks for having us. And um, I don't think either of us got plants. Nope. No, we just got other stickers. crystals and <laughs> stickers and stuff like that. But we can show you everything we got at the end of this video. Yeah. Just wanted to let you know about our experience there so we could pop it in between before we get confused. Okay? Okay, <laughs> let's go and see what they have in here. Super cute. There are some, yeah, should be, 10 to 6. I see plants too. Very cute. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, just being weird. Oh yeah, there's like a whole plant room. Yes. Cute. Oh, I see a couple little Hoyas. All right, all right, all right. And then it's literally an apothecary. Wow. This is adorable. No, 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 you're fine. I'm sorry if I scared you. This is so cute. We were just at um, TAJ Tropicals and she recommended you guys. So, yeah, she was really sweet. We were curious what you guys had going on over here. Of course, I just bought a whole bunch of like loose leaf tea not knowing.
Connecticut, we had a really nice day. I am definitely not mad about it. The weather was perfect. And who knew Worcester was actually like cute little a cute little is this a city i feel like it's a city it was adorable yeah like obviously it's worcester but like it was a lot cuter than i anticipated little yeah. shops now well, i'm when curious you first said worcester i got scared i didn't want to go i've only ever been to like a bad part <laughs> yeah. of like worcester it was really so adorable. i wasn't sure what to expect but no offense to anybody who lives in worcester no. we really enjoyed visiting it's today really and everybody too. that we met was really nice like even just random people on the street were really nice yeah. so i don't really know but um i did pick up a few cuties that i wanted to show you i know you saw I got them only at the plant ward. The other stuff that we got, we, we got like crystals and things like that from the other place. But look at this pot! And this cute little variegated orchid. You got one too, right? I did. Cute. It was only 20 bucks. Definitely not mad about it. And then, I don't know what kind of jewel orchid this is, but it's one that I've always Lightning. wanted. Yeah, and I never, I never see them in person. And it was $18, so cute i'm not mad about it that's it that's all i got and some like crystals and stuff i can show you and tea. when we get inside i did get some tea i love loose leaf tea though but i really like this pot it's cute and it's I muted like it. i don't like shiny pots so there is that i don't remember what you got you got a got hoya cordatus macho in the right six inch pot that was a good one. She snagged Ooh. that. Oop! They stepped on the Yes. <laughs> she snagged that Sarawak too, you guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sneaky. I did. She's sneaky. You always gotta get a Sarawak <laughs> when you see. Oh snap! Look at how big and beautiful that is. Love it. Oh my gosh, this leaf. Look at that leaf. It's Gorgeous. huge. This is a stunning specimen, and it's really healthy. Yeah. These are kind of a pain to ship, so it's nice to get it in person. Oh, hi, tendril. Oh, <laughs> I feel at home. There's a tendril in my face. Let me see if I can grab the Sarawak. Um, yeah, the Sarawak was gorgeous. And then what else did you get? I feel like you got more. Um, I got the the little ping. Little ping wicula. Who? The little ping wicula. The oh, little... that Hoya name that I couldn't say? No, it's not a Hoya. It's the little fruit fly oh eating. the succulent looking yeah. thing mm -hmm. that sarawak is gorgeous i can't wait and to it's sun actively stress growing it. you throw yeah. this on a trellis you're gonna have new leaves in no time this yep. growth point is still active very pretty so pretty it was it. a really good price on this one too yep for the size anyway we had a really fun time, so thank you to everybody at the plant ward and that taj tropicals and trinkets inc <laughs> I got the whole name down that time. And where else did we go to? We time. went to Time Apothecary. They were super sweet in there. So thank you to everybody that we met today. We had a really great day and we were happy that we got yes. to meet you. So that's it, right? That's Is it. There anything to add? Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for driving me around yeah. again. Thanks <laughs> for putting up with me getting lost five times no i'm used to it <laughs> david does it all the time they know we're used to it. i make fun of him constantly <laughs> in any kind of vlog where we're driving so i'm gonna shush because i'm hungry and i'm starting to yeah. lose my voice from talking to people all day and talking to you guys all day so if you enjoyed this you should give it a thumbs up definitely don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me you know the spiel there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me and donate a few dollars to my channel. Everything is appreciated, especially because I just spent all my money today. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot do this without you guys. And, um, yeah, that's it. Right? Yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm freaking tired. <laughs> I appreciate you guys, and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.